Hello, Growth Masters, and welcome back to another episode of Influence and Growth Mastery. This is Tanya Gossage, your guide on this journey to mastering the art and making authentic connections, growing your audience, and leveraging your influence to create an impactful and thriving audience using artificial intelligence, also known as AI, one of my favorites. My name, again, is Tanya Gossage, and I want to share with you um, the best way to make authentic connections. I'm going to tell you today how you can grow your audience and grow your connections. This may sound so simple that it doesn't even need to be repeated. So simple that you're like, why are you doing a podcast on this? And it's because people don't get it. People don't understand just how easy it is. So let's get into this. There is a script that you can use to grow your connections or to get through to the right people, whomever that is. And I'll share with you that regardless of who you want to have a conversation with, it is so easy, guys, it's so, and gals, team, tribe, masters, whomever you want to be called. But I want to tell you that there's just this one simple phrase that you can say to people, whether it's on social media, whether it's on the phone, it's people you don't know, it's people you barely know. But you can use this to pretty much get to anybody that you want to have a conversation with. You can use it to get through a gatekeeper, to get to an influencer that you want to have a conversation with. You can build a library of this information, again, to bring people into your ecosystem. Okay, it works. Small conversation with people. And here it is. You can say. Hi, I'm Tanya Gossage. I'm the founder or I'm the CEO. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a college student, whomever it is that you are. At or with Gossage Performance Consulting. And I wonder if you, Miss Smith, Mr. Jones, whomever, would have five minutes to share your secret of success with me. Hi. Or hello. I am Tanya Gossage, the founder of Gossage Performance Consulting. And I wonder, Mrs. Smith, if you would have five minutes to share your secret of success with me. How simple is that? Or I get your assistant on the phone and I say the same thing. Hi, Laura. I'm Tanya Gossage, the founder and CEO of Gossage Performance Consulting. And I'm wondering if Mrs. Smith would have five minutes next week, maybe next Tuesday at 2 p.m., that she could spend five minutes with me on the phone to tell me her secret to success. Well, I don't know. Let me look. That's it. Or, hi, I'm Tanya Gossage, and I'm writing an article for ABC Publication. And I would love to interview Mrs. Smith for this article. I'm wondering if she could give me five minutes of her time to share with me the secret to her success. People love sharing their success with others. People want to replicate what other successful people do. That's how you get on the phone with other successful people. You don't try to sell them anything. You don't do anything else. But after you ask them that question, 
you take a breath and you be quiet. You don't interrupt them. You're silent until they answer. Silent. You know the thing in sales where you shut up and you don't say a word? You do the same thing. You just be quiet until they answer. Again, people love to share their success stories. I interview successful people on my podcast. Do you know I never am out of people to come on my show? I'm never out of people. If I did a post of asking for people, I would have an influx of people who would want to come on my show. Also, when you get them on the call, you want to make sure that you're ready. You've done your research. You've looked them up on LinkedIn or Facebook or Instagram, whatever type of social media that they may be on. You've looked them up on Google. You have some information about them because when they're telling you their success story, you could say, looking back across your incredible career of 34 years in banking, could you share with me about X or where you achieved X award? I saw you won this award. Could you share that story with me? You are showing interest in them. I saw you sold your company after 40 years. What was that like? Your company was so successful. You were so successful. How did you reach that success? Be quiet after you ask each question and let them talk. Don't interrupt. There's so many questions that you can come up with in inquiring about their success. But initially, to get on a call with the person that you want to get on a call with, that's how you do it. Hi. I'm Tanya Kosage, the founder and CEO or an entrepreneur of Gossage Performance Consulting. And I wonder, Mrs. Smith, if you would have five minutes to jump on a call with me and share your success journey. I use success journey. But share your success with me. Maybe you say 10 minutes. You don't want to say an hour because they're going to be like, I don't have an hour. I can give you 15 minutes. I can give you five minutes. When that five minutes is over, you could say, I know our five minutes is over. Is there any way possible I could ask for 10 more minutes later in the week or even next week to gather a little bit more information? Then you're getting them on another call. But if you have any ask of them, regardless of what it is, you're not going to ask in the first call. You want it to be all about hearing their success story. You're building the relationship. Building the relationship. You're getting to that no like, and trust in that first call. That's where you want to be. And later follow-up calls, that's where you're getting more. After that call, you want to send them a physical follow-up, a thank you card for their time. Again, no ask, just thank you for your time. I loved your story. Bring something out that you really did enjoy hearing and send that physical card. Addresses are easy to find today. And if you can't find it, call to their assistant, call an employee, do the best you can to find it. Look on their website. 
do the best you can. But this is the perfect way to build connections. Recording, do not record calls without their permission. Do not. That could bite you in the rear. But again, do your research and have some follow-up calls or questions, excuse me. And just know the difference between a six-figure, a millionaire, and a billionaire is one word. What do you think that word is? You got it. Delegation. One word, delegation. Guys, listen, relationships are priceless. Relationships are priceless. Cash comes and goes. And today's cash value fluctuates. Up and down, up and down. Your network is truly your net worth. Your network is truly your net worth. And you want to build a huge network of connections and people. You never know when that one connection is going to connect you to that right individual. And you can do it with that one simple phrase and question that I gave you today. Use it and then come back in the comments and share with me how that that went for you. And don't forget that if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure that you support, like, click that subscribe button and encourage others. If you've not already joined our Influence and Growth Mastery Facebook group, do so and bring over a friend with you. And until next time, until the next episode, continue to cultivate those connections and keep growing your influence. And together, we will master the art of impact. And this is Tanya Gossage signing off for another great episode of Influence and Growth Mastery. I love you guys. See you again very, very soon. Bye.